Hey Linda, your friends and family at RLM wanted to wish you all the luck in the world with your latest venture. So with that said, let's roll the tape. Ms. Robinson, do you have an appointment? Down the hall to the left. Linda, parenting requires neurotic attention to detail and incredible cerebral sweat. You know you have to be on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Putting together a really effective team to help you. Linda, however, on this one, you're on your own, sweetheart. Sorry. Hey, do you know Linda's having a baby? Linda? Uh... I don't know, there's been a lot of uh, turnover around here, like Linda, Linda, so many names. Linda Robinson? Oh, isn't she Michael Gross's assistant? Oh, no, no. I think I met a Linda last weekend. Linda's having a what? Um, is she an intern? Linda Robinson and a baby? I don't think so. Okay, so Louise just called, they're five minutes away. Bottle in the microwave? Check. Diapers are all ready, right? Check. What about the books? Barrow doggy, ready to go, checked. The extra copy is in the diaper bag, ready to go in case she needs to run to a meeting. Okay, Amanda, what about the applesauce? Applesauce is in the refrigerator, I'm covering the phones, we're all set. All right, how about the stroller? Stroller's set, stroller's ready to go. We've got the strollers ready to go, we've got one out here, one up front by the front desk, and one out here, they're all ready to go. All we need to do is, you know, let the other one know by remote control and it's all I've already suggested to Linda that we could put a, pull out one of the file cabinets and if Nicholas makes too much noise, we can just close it when a client calls. Okay. And then probably what's the countdown in the elevator? Two and a half minutes? Probably. All right, girls, is everyone set? Anne? Anne? Elizabeth? Jeannie? Oh, Hi, Linda. Hi. How are you? How are you? about how we want to make sure we don't lose our valuable face time with you. And since we get most of it here in the women's bathroom, we're talking about ways that we can make the bathroom accessible for you and Nicholas. So we're talking like baby changing table over here, maybe knocking out one of the sinks, putting in a layout, little baby urinal when the time comes, in the meantime kind of a potty seat arrangement. Lisa and I thought we would work on some talking points for him to get him started perhaps a little earlier than his friends. Mama, Canyon Ranch, uh, Bergdorf's, what do you think? Sure, I'll write them, but I really don't think you need strategic talking points for bedtime. Linda, if Don Nathan changes Nicholas's diaper while you're on the conference call, he's billable. I knew I should have read my partnership agreement. Congratulations, Linda. I understand you've thought of everything. It's a boy. I got my calendar out. I want to make sure I can make this. When is the bris? So how committed are you to this uh, Nicholas name? You should consider an alternative. Richard Milhouse Robinson. Think about it. Having been a father now for exactly nine weeks, I certainly qualify as an expert in parenting. And I can tell you what I have learned so far in exactly two words. Get help. Get lots and lots and lots of help. They asked me to give you some little bit of advice on raising quiet, well-behaved kids. It starts with the first kid. Now, the first kid is always very responsible. You don't have to do much. You just have to be very firm. Isn't that right, Tina? Oh, my feet, John. Oh, my my car again. I'm so sorry. You totaled your car again? Yes, yes. Look, look here are the keys to mine. Just oh. don't, don't be yourself. Oh. Anyway. And do you have a hundred dollars to bail out my boyfriend from jail? Tina? Uh, now the second one, he sometimes needs a little bit of general prodding. Hey, have you got your homework done yet? No. And it can be a little bit of sibling rivalry around them. You just have to give them a lot of love and, you know, yeah, they just they, they, know, they fight a little bit. So, that's all you need to know about raising a nice, well-adjusted family, Linda. Ouch! Well, Linda, there's one thing that a mom can't teach her son, and that's about the secrets of the men's room. Here we are. The men's room. Urinals, where Nicholas will tinkle. 
And the great, greatest tinkle of all is when the urinal is filled with ice. And here are the five thrones. And I won't tell you which one Walter often uses, but there is one that's Walter's favorite. Uh, I only have one piece of advice. Uh, no kids in the office, okay? I mean, we really have to stay focused on filling hours. And I can tell you from experience, this kids under the desk stuff, uh, kids roaming around, they mess things up, there's a total distraction. Keep the kid, I, I, you know, just, it's just like church and state, you know, office and kids, keep the kids away. Okay, yeah, tell you, I need to bring this here for Nicholas so he can sit next to Linda. Okay. All right, we're gonna create a carpe diem time entry for, for Nicholas so he can enter his time, right guys? Yeah, that's a great idea. It's gonna sure. have a lot, a lot of billable time, so we wanna keep track of it. Linda, I'm happy to say I'm almost done with our extensive report on the number of uh, things you need to transport the baby around the home. Uh, we have a number of Moses baskets and uh, play pens uh, for you to look at. We're gonna compile a memo, uh, create some files. We are gonna get the exact perfect uh, car seat. Uh, in fact, it, it will get you the right seat to transport the baby to the car seat and then uh, the right carrier to put him in the car seat. Uh, so this will be a foolproof operation. It's going to be RLM all the way. Good morning. It's 11 o'clock. You're late as usual. But this is not to pick you up this time. This is just to say congratulations on the baby, Linda. Hey, Linda, you sure you only have one kid? You know, this is 10 a.m. delivery. We can't do any other mail today. And I'm going to need some overtime when I test drove that stroller for you last week. I can't find anything on swaddling. I better go to the swaddling chat room. <laughs> Linda and Jim, welcome to the world of bunnies. Big Peter Rabbit. Do, do we put the Peter Rabbit on the rugs? What? The hoppy ones. <gasps> Where are they? Where are they? Oh, 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 Does oh, oh. every bunny have a name? Yes. Every bunny has okay, a name. Where's the other one? Linda, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. This is Cammie, and she was about to cry for you, so you would know what I'm hungry means. Um, but I see we're a little quiet. That's good. Um, this is a drool stain. That's a sweat stain from running over here because the baby was quiet. <laughs> oh, there! There, we got one. <sighs> Linda, next time I'm doing it your way. I've heard that your office um, is really looking great and beautifully appointed and that sort of thing. But I thought there were a few more things that I should tell you about that you're really going to need if you expect to carry on your professional life as you enter this new stage. Let's see, first of all, while you're on conference calls, slinkies are good. <clears throat> um, you know, Bubbles, the cleaning ladies can come, always come by later and, 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 and take the soap scum off your conference table if you need. But it really works well, especially for two-year-olds. Of course, Beanie Babies, and as they get over a Pokemon, is just, you, you gotta have it. And then, of course, you really, really, really must have the collection of videotapes. Um, because, you know, CNBC is good, but those kids, they, they get tired of stock folks. They really do. So listen, I'm really, really excited for you. And you know, it seems that things are happening for us right about the same time. And I've put you on my calendar for a play date. Nicholas, next July 16th. Linda, seriously, this fall, charcoal gray is really the new baby blue for boys. The Smithsonian has contacted me and they want your legal authorization for investigation on the latest sonogram of Nicholas James. It shows him holding an inert object and they want to research why. Here it is. Can you explain why Nicholas James is holding this? I don't care if the baby's last name is Levin. He's not getting in here without an ID. Welcome to my little special world, Linda. This is Madame Crystal. Oh, the forces are coming stronger and stronger. And I'm being shown little highlights from your past. You were revered as Queen Nefertiti. You wowed them as Queen Elizabeth. But nothing, nothing will eclipse this new role as mom to Nicholas. Congratulations. 
Linda, congratulations. I, I think it's, it's, it's totally terrific. Uh, I'm looking forward to having Nicholas come into the world. Congratulations, we're so happy for you. Wish you and Jim the best. Congratulations, Linda, Nicholas James is lucky. I'm so happy for you, you're gonna be the best mommy. And really, even though you lose a lot of sleep, it's great because you just have absolutely the best moments then. So I love you and I'm so happy for you and I'm so happy for your baby. Congratulations, Linda, we're all very excited for you and you'll do great even without swaddling information. Many congratulations, it's really wonderful. Congratulations, we're so excited for you. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's the best adventure of your life, and uh, I know you'll be great parents, and lots of luck. Linda, uh, I hope uh, you have a wonderful and happy and healthy child, and the one thing I want you to know more than anything else is that he is very fortunate in having you as a mother. Linda, I love you. I wish you all the best with your new one. I just want to wish you the best of luck with your baby. Linda, a lot of people, I'm sure, have said this is going to change your life. And one thing I think you'll find which you'll enjoy immensely is that you'll feel younger every day with Nicholas. Linda, of all the titles that you've achieved through wonderful and great effort over the years, I think the title that you're about to achieve is the most wonderful, and that's Mommy. Good luck! <laughs> Linda, in all seriousness, this is a particularly special time, a wonderful time in your life. I'm so happy for you. Uh, we all in this firm owe you so much. We watched you uh, develop the firm and help all of us grow. We couldn't be happier for you. Congratulations. Take a long and happy maternity leave and trust us to take care of the store. Best wishes. Hey, Linda, we hope you enjoyed this tape. Take good care. We love you. All right, we're gathered here, guys, because we want to make sure that uh, we're prepared for Nicholas's arrival here. Uh, we've got a full agenda, so if I could go over the items and make sure all of you have covered the bases. Uh, number one, I'd like to start with Sandy. Have you checked his references? I have. They're all positive. Oh, good news, good news. Adina, we've got to issue a LexisNexis and a couple passwords. Yes, he has a password already. Oh, good, good, good. I bet he'd like petty cash. Suzanne, are we ready for petty cash? Yeah. Good. Sean, carpe diem, we got to open up. Yes, he's out. Good man. Jose, I bet he's on to laptops, computers, and regular. Definitely see the best, yes. Uh, the best, you say? Yes, the best. It better be. <laughs> <laughs> Nish, I think we need a separate code for this. He's all set. Terrific, terrific. <laughs> Suzanne, payroll. Is he on payroll? And last but not least, the most important item, Ramon. Is the nursery ready? <laughs> all set. Ready to go. We're ready. <laughs> We're ready. Good luck. Hey, don't move! Everybody Loves Raymond is next.